I was interested when Bobby was talking about South Durban. I've occasionally written stories about South Durban. There have been uh, occasions when um, the refineries down there have uh, caught fire and uh, things have gone offline for a bit. And uh, I was writing for uh, Independent Chemical Information Services, I think it was, International Chemical Information Services in London at the time. And, and we'd pick up on stories like that. And interestingly, who picked up on me, would come Google searching me, would be um, the activists in the South Durban area who for, I think, a long time now have um, been trying to highlight some of the problems they have, children, asthma, uh, the pollution apparently is appalling, but it's very difficult to A, understand it, uh, B, get a credible sort of feeling for it, um, and then, as everybody was saying, consistently report it in a credible manner. Um, uh, I think the same issues uh, pertain to the development of Cassili and Madupi um, and the whole furore and, uh, surrounding fracking at the moment. Um, I mean, we've got COP17 here and we're building two of the biggest power stations the country's ever seen. Uh, South Africa per capita is one of the biggest polluters in the world, SASL and ESCOM uh, being largely to blame. Now we want to look at fracking, and quite aside from pumping chemicals into the crew soil, um, it's a case of um, nobody has, I certainly don't, uh, have a really good understanding um, about what this might mean. The other day in this room, two nights ago in fact, I think Wednesday night, um, Trevor Manuel was giving an off-the-record briefing about the National Planning Commission and its ideas. And it is looking at fracking very closely as a possible alternative energy source. Um, and no doubt we'll hear more about it in that regard. Um, I understand that Petro SA off Mossel Bay, um, you know, some of its gas reserves there are sort of uh, running a bit thin in 10 years' time. Under the current dispensation, uh, Petro SA will be no more unless it finds other sources. Um, so what I'm trying to say about these issues in terms of um, South Durban, it's full of foreign investment, it's Toyota, it's lots of other things. It's about employment, it's about livelihood, it's about economic dynamism. Um, it's also about gross levels of pollution. Um, how do you reconcile the two? Uh, as a journalist in the media, um, especially if you're writing for a business paper, if you're writing about economy, how do you write about the social economy? How do you balance that? And I think for me, it's, it's like Cassili and Madupi, they are, they are a fact, they are a reality, they're going to be highly pollutant, uh, yet we don't have enough energy in this country to grow. So how do you, how do you resolve those uh, uh, contradistinctions, if you like? <coughs>